And it's time for semifinal number one here on Friday Night Football number 37, sponsored by Rocket Mortgage. Zan here calling the action with Bugs. And as Bugs talked about before the break, these two players know each other very well. Yeah, these, these two guys have been able to get plenty of reps versus each other. They know what to expect. They're running the same offense. You know, they're running the same Oakland playbook. So Prodigy knows that this strong H wing is what Rage wants to come out in. Prodigy knows the run defense that Rage uses. Rage knows the run defense that Prodigy uses, so he knows what to expect. So I'm pretty sure that they have little wrinkles for it. I want to see what's going to get exposed here. So that first rush of the ball game by Bo Jackson, a little stretch looky for four yards. That's been the run that most of the opponents for Rage have had trouble stopping tonight. That little stretch looky, again, the strong H wing formation really taking over. One of the better formations in the game to run the ball out of gives you some options to mm -hmm. uh you know throw the ball as well we haven't had to see him throw from this formation it's actually been a very multiple approach today by rage he'll run the dive and the stretch out of this formation then he'll hop into the single back wing close flex then he'll hop into tight slots tight doubles he's doing a little bit of everything and that's been the biggest thing for him on top of the great defense yeah most definitely he's He's been able to run quite a few things, and he's playing great defense, as you said. So it's like right now he's really just been able to control every single game. The question is, is he going to be able to control this game? He just threw a book right there. He had the hitch, had the hitch route on the – yep. Just what you were saying right there. He had that hitch wide open. Uh Again, is this maybe a thing where crew members, you talked about this earlier, uh, crew crew member games have the potential to get really sloppy. Um, it, it's it, it's weird because on one hand, it looks sloppy, but on, this, on another level to a trained eye, it's actually really high level Madden because these guys know each other in and out, third, fourth reads. Exactly. Yeah, they, they know what reads these guys want to make. They know what's going on on the field. And so they're going to make these little subtle adjustments versus each other. Like even, even there, you're seeing how Rage kind of backed up that linebacker. I think that was strategic. People back those linebackers up to kind of when they expect the potential run because there are certain runs that work. As you see, he went, to, Prodigy went to a run right there on first down, got five yards. The, the play before that, Rage back that linebacker up because they, they'll back those linebackers up to kind of play the run right there. Second down five coming up here for Prodigy. Finds himself in the semifinals. We talked about him earlier. Slow start to the year for Prodigy. Started off in our Summer Series Championship, which again was a six-week series that we ran on Madden 19. The final six weeks of the year, we gave series points to players based off of where they finished in Friday Night Football. Prodigy was one of the top six ranked heading into 20. Got eliminated in the first round of the Summer Series Championship. I believe that was by Crush in an off-stream game, if I recall correctly. Might have been Pavin. But uh, no, it was, I think it was King, the underrated King. That is right. You're right. It, it, all three, all four of those guys were there, but uh, yeah, it was King. King's coming out party this year with that Panther heavy. He actually ran I-form close that whole tournament, but Prodigy did not do well in that tournament and just haven't seen him with any momentum. Is this the week that he takes that step forward heading into the club series? Looking very good against uh, one of the hottest players in Madden right now in Rage Like a Boss. Yeah, most definitely. And the thing is here, Ray just has to hold the door. Don't give up the touchdown. Hold him to three here. That's going to be the win for Rage. He started off sloppy through a pick, but it does not matter if he holds the door here. Timeout taken. I think he didn't have an audible that he wanted set right there. As you see him switch up the audibles a little bit. He's got a stretch looky and a power looky right here. And I think that's important to talk about because some of these stretch runs you see right there, even though he walks in for the touchdown, huge score by Prodigy to open up this ballgame, have not seen Rage down hardly at all over the last two weeks. Mm. But with the run game, 
we talk about sometimes the stretch uh, certain run defenses will work against the stretch but that power blocking might absolutely destroy that so to have both of those is huge there yeah most definitely and then because you have that pulling guard that may be able to because the way these guys are playing defense run defense they're having those middle linebackers kind of shoot into the gaps with the power you're going to have that pulling guard to kind of help plus you have that lead fullback you're bound to get somebody you're, you're bound to get a hat on a hat and kind of give that run defense that style of run defense problems Bo Jackson on the stretch give, and that's going to be a nice tackle by Landon Collins after a gain of five. It seems early on that Prodigy's at least had Rage in a situation where he has to throw on third down that pick. He had a hitch route wide open, but here just like that, Bo Jackson up the middle, 40, 30. Champ Bailey trying to gain on him, not going to be enough, 10, 5. Touchdown, Bo Jackson, just like that. We're going to have a tie ball game. At Rocket Mortgage. We get that a home is more than a house. It's your escape, your fortress, your arena. So we'll be here when you need us, handling house so you can do home. Rocket Mortgage, official mortgage lender of eSports. So Rage gets on the board after an empty first drive. Prodigy will have the ball at halftime for those tuning in here. Semifinal number one of Friday Night Football number 37, sponsored by Rocket mortgage brand new sponsor here with us on mutthead home is so much more than a house it's your personal luxury box by making the complex simple rocket mortgage has built a mortgage experience centered around you personalized and convenient so you can spend your time scouting the competition and making your house a home push button get mortgage rocket mortgage and mls number 3030 zan here calling the action with bugs Semifinal number two will be coming up here after this ball game. It's going to be another great one, Saya versus Joke. We haven't talked about this. We got an opportunity for, well, we, we did earlier, but it's been a little bit. We have an opportunity for a rematch of last week's final as Prodigy down the sideline. Did he get two in? No, no terrible break right there. Steps out of bounds. He got the rack animation right there. I don't know if he intentionally, I don't know if he was trying to get greedy there and trying to just get a, a touchdown because – Rage played very aggressive defensively there. He had a deep third on that right safety, on that strong safety over there. And then he had a flat on the opposite side. It was very aggressive style defense, and he didn't get pressure. Pressure off that right edge that time on third down. You saw right there, he tried to go with the wheel flat combination to hit the running back out of the backfield. Because he didn't lead the running back in, that corner comes off the edge and forces the early throw, and Prodigy is going to punt here. So playing the little, little field position. You definitely, you definitely get the feeling that these players know each other well. We haven't seen Rage slow down offensively at all until he faces his lab partner. Exactly. And then the fact that you're seeing – what that punt tells me is that Prodigy believes that he can get this stop. That's what that tells me, that he believes he's going to get a stop here on this drive and that all he needs to do is just come out and play some defense and he'll get the ball back. There's Ed Reed, gets a solo tackle, no – no secure tackler, no enforcer needed for Ed Reed. That boy just makes plays. We talked about him a lot last year. You talked about him earlier tonight. I, you got to go get an Ed Reed, period. Yeah, yeah. you got to get yourself an Ed Reed. Looks like he also has a Jabril Peppers back there as well. Get those two guys on your field. Obviously, these guys know something. They know something that I don't know. Get those two guys on your field because these are safeties that are making plays, obviously. Strong safety is such a deep spot in Mutt. You've got, obviously, the the Tillman. You've got Jamal Adams, Earl Thomas, Jabril Peppers. And right there, you just think, oh, what if I had an escape artist as the statue mm -hmm. gets sacked? That's Montez Sweat. Fourth down to 17, and here comes a punt back the other direction. Let's go ahead and set an over-under. One and a half more punts. You taking the over or the under? I'm going to take... I'm going to take the over. Here's why. Because I believe that these two guys believe that they can stop each other because of familiarity. So because of that, I'm taking the over because I think these guys are just going to, if they end up in a fourth down or fourth and long, they're just going to punt the ball and say, you know what, I can just get the ball right back. The chat, got a few guys in the chat saying under. Again, appreciate you guys hanging out with us on Friday Night Football number 37. 4,000 strong with you, uh, you in the chat. If you guys are new to the channel, 
First of all, let us know. Press one in the, if you're new to the stream. And two, if you are new to the stream and you're enjoying it, make sure you guys hit that follow button. We're live every single Friday night, 8 p.m. Eastern time, 7 Central with F and F. First down of 10 here for Prodigy Motion. Rivers, this time he's going to hit the rack. Cross midfield down to the other 33. So he flips field position just like that. That punt comes all the way back on Rage. He's going to have to defend a short field now here and try to hold to a field goal before half. Got some ones in the chat. I know some of you are lying. <laughs> oh yeah, there's always we got we got there's always gonna be a few. One. <laughs> yeah, there's always going to be a few that are just going to lie. You know, I don't know why they like to do it. It's funny to them. You got you got my guy Def Clutch in the chat with a negative one. <laughs> Jersey, I feel like I've seen Jersey in this chat before. I feel like I've seen him in the Friday Night Football chat plenty of times, but who knows? And there's your two-minute war uh, warning. We got a tie ball game between Prodigy and Rage. Prodigy 34 yards away from taking a touchdown lead. Strong eye tight formation, fullback to the near side. Here's the stretch give. Pollard behind a couple blocks. And he's going to scamper in for a touchdown. It's going to be a 13-7 lead prodigy back out in front. Last time we saw Rage go right back down the field and score. We'll see if he's got another quick drive in him. Old Pollard. <laughs> he's, he's one of the best budget cars you can have in the backfield. If you're not going to run the ball down in and down out, he's a car that you want to have on your field. Because he's 89 speed, 90 excel. And he's only 29 cap. He's such a high value card that he's a must have if you're going to pass the ball. Our guy, Doc Beasy, checking in the chat says, What's up, Zan and Bugs? How have the games been? They've been great, man. Thanks for dropping by. Appreciate you taking time out of your evening to uh, watch FNF as always. We got first down and 10 here from the 28 for Rage. Looking to tie this ballgame up before halftime. Slammer says he's new here. I've met you in person, Slammer. <laughs> got my guy Slammer in the chat. We got OG Primetime in the chat. What's going on, chat? How's everybody doing today? I hope everybody's enjoying their night. Enjoying some good Friday night football. Oh, that looked like it should have been a pick six. Lurked. Tried to flare that little flat route out over the outstretched arms. Might have been lucky to get away with that one. Third down and three coming up for Rage. Over the middle, that's going to be lurked, LT. Yeah, you just get the feeling that Prodigy knows the offense. Epidemic. I mean, he just bailed straight out. Uh, yeah, he just bailed straight out. He knew what was coming. He knows the routes to, to cause problems, and he got right back to it. Joe Tominski checking in in the chat. Nap legend, Lord Molina. I think Lord Molina is my favorite Twitch chatter that has the name Molina in his chat. Just as a, as a Cub fan, I can't allow it, but uh, I'll make an exception for Lord Molina every time. <laughs> They're Johnny, saying the yeah. Rage era is over. The Rage era? I don't know. Rage is going to – he's shown the ability to fight through everything. We'll see. Ed Reed flashing on tape yet again with another – massive hit stick and, and i'm telling you books i think there's some there's a lot of people out there that think i'm a lunatic when it comes to the clutch trait but you mm -hmm. look at his big hitter trait you look at the scenario one score ball game inside the two minute warning in the first half and ed reed lands a cpu bomb right there i just feel like some guys are different they're built different you said it and ed reed's one of them most definitely every he's just one of those guys that has the built-in coding he just makes plays. He has that clutch trait, like you said. He has the big hitter trait, too. So he's going to go for big hits. That's one of the things that makes him a very glitchy card because he's just going to make big hits. He's going to try to make plays. And he has that play ball aggressive in the air trait. So ball's in the air. He's going to try to go get it. Jonathan in the chat says there's a lot of golf left. I agree with you, man. So still, still plenty of ball game left here for Rage if he wants to get back in this one. But – like our last game, he's down two scores at half with ball, and it looks like it's about to be three if he can outrun Ramsey. That's Pollard across midfield to the 40. 
Stop it. Go Ooh. back to the inside. What stick work? And that's going to be Tony Pollard in the Memphis Tiger finds the end zone. Prodigy all over rage in this one. Man, this is one of those games where you're playing in your home and your lab partner where if they were in the party together, uh, who knows? They might be in the party together right now or the Discord together right now. <laughs> this, this is that point where you start talking trash to your homie. This is that point in the game between uh, rest in peace to, to True Boy and Franchise where Franchise is like, you really just did that to me in front of everybody? You really <laughs> like you're already up two scores. You're about to go up three scores. You had to do that to me on on national live internet as well. Yeah, exactly. A little pressure and a little bit of salt in the wound is that's going to be Washington with a sack. Again, guys, semifinal number two going to be coming up. It looks like it's going to be Joke versus Saya, and I mean we're we're also forgetting right now, Bugs Prodigy's. Taking the thousand dollars home right here with this with this blowout of rage. Wow. Taking a thousand dollars home and then has another game right after this for a thousand dollars. Back to back games. Again, the bounty brought to you by Rocket Mortgage, the Blitz Cash, our brand new sponsor here, part of the Mutthead family. Over the middle, and that's Moss in traffic. Ed Reed about makes a play. Fourth and 21, this could be your tap out play if range does not convert here. Electric DC3 in the chat. Appreciate you playing tonight, man. Good run. I think we'll see you back next week as Rivers back to pass. Going to mm. go underneath short. Nice spin move by Moss. Oh, and he misses a tackle, and that's going to be a first down. So a little bit of life here in Rage. That decision right there to go for a hit stick instead of just trying to make the tackle. You make that tackle. You just go for an A tackle there. It's a turnover. Or at the least, you slow him down for a potential turnover. But in, instead, you give him the first down because you go for the greedy hit stick. Stretch to the outside. And he's had great run defense for this. Uh, take notes. If you struggle with this particular run, it is one of the better stretches in the game. The stretch looky out of the strong. H tight formation, wing, H wing formation. He's got to throw that corner route, and that's Jerry Rice picking up the first down. That is the play, I believe, F trail. That is the corner route that you can find there. Gets over the top of purple zones and cloud flats. <laughs> Dark Vader in the chat says, any extra points for tweeting? Congrats to Prodigy. He's winning next one, too. <laughs> oh, okay. We'll see if uh, Saya or Joke have anything to say about that. But, yeah, uh, he's looking good. Prodigy, uh, only guy to beat Rage in his last, what, was it nine, ten game win streak for Rage almost? Let me see. One, two, three, four, five. He would have been on a, I'm sorry, an eight game win streak. So, I mean, that's really impressive. And this another user pick here. That's Peppers, and that should do it. Why did you do exactly North Cal Navy Knight. What what was that that you said? Um no, I was just saying that he did exactly what I said as far as stopping the run and then forcing race to have to start passing. So we'll see if Joke and Saya are about to get underway. Actually, I'm not sure. We may run this one start to finish. Because we'll be rocking with you till, I believe, midnight Eastern time, depending on these games. If they get out of control, there's some things we can't control. But this one should go start to finish. Yes, Rockets just confirmed. We will break after this game and then start up the second semifinal. So we'll, we'll take this one until Rage decides he's done, as that's another first down for a Prodigy. Great Gatsby wants to know, is this the prodigy player from the Eagles club? He he did play Eagles, right? But I think Figgy won Figgy won uh, Eagles last year. Prodigy I won what I don't remember. I honestly do not remember. I know he's doing a Lions club this year. 
but I don't know. Okay, remember shots what fired, bugs. Uh, no, just- no, <laughs> none whatsoever. I, you know, I wish him well. Hopefully, he wins that club and represents the Lions well because I'm doing the Falcons club. Doesn't make oh, that's it. right. That's right. You went with the ATL club. Uh, that's right. I thought you would have stayed with your uh, true to your Lions colors there. Yeah, I, mean, I live down here in Atlanta. I'm hoping to, you know, do something with the Falcons at some point. So because of that, because I'm right here in their backyard, I chose to do the Lions Falcons club. I'm a lion at heart. I'm just going to, I'm going to become a closet Falcons fan for the time being. Someone in the chat asking who is left. You're watching semifinal number one. So it's going to be Prodigy headed to the finals. He's going to take on the winner of our matchup that is coming right up after this, which is going to be Saya versus Joke. So once again, Joke making another deep run in Friday Night Football. He's already won three this year, right? So gunning for four. He lost to Saint two weeks ago in our finals. I'm sorry, he lost a rage last week in the finals. So, yeah, still on that quest for four. Four in this year alone for Joke is what he's going for tonight. Yeah, Joke is one of those guys. He's a beast. Honestly, he's one of those guys you don't want any parts of. He's he's really been balling out. He's definitely a top five player. And what I respect most about it is that he comes on Friday Night Football every single week and just rocks out, period. Like, he doesn't care. He's just here to do what he does, and that's win ball games. He doesn't care if you got the tape on him or not. I mean, that's no shade, but there's a lot of other players that are in that top five conversation that choose not to play. And then, you know, their their whole season rests on MCS success. Yeah, exactly. He's He's been able to rack up. That's the one thing. Right now, Friday Night Football and has been able to give guys some some good chunks of change. And Joke has been cashing in on that. Why not? I mean, he sees opportunity. I, I respect it. Is he, uh, we would love to have the top 32 players play one week. And then, you know, the whoever the 24 are that don't advance, then we just pick it right back up with 33 through – whatever it is, the, you know, the 24 remaining spots, 57, 58, somewhere in there every single week. I would love that to just rotate the top 60 players every single week. Uh, that's, that's the ultimate goal is get the top 60 players in the world to continue playing week in and week out as we make this a regular thing. And then also, you know, as we know, the players get into that conversation saying that they deserve it. We, we always want to pull and give opportunities to players that are on their grind as well. Yeah, that would definitely be amazing to watch. Uh, it would be cool to see. Hopefully, it can happen at some point. Hopefully, it can happen. That's what I'm rooting for. I know firsthand I want to see it. I want to be a part of it. And I also want to uh, – honestly, I prefer to to be in the shadows and, and really just sit back and enjoy the games more so than playing in the tournaments because it's just – it's a different breath of fresh air to just commentate it and then watch and enjoy some high-level Madden. Much less stress, but uh, Prodigy not feeling any stress right now as he dives down, trying to milk this ball game away. It looks like Rage is going to tap. While we had that 